Only virgin blood can keep vampire Lauren Hutton beautiful. But virgin blood in L.A.? Three bites and you're out, and no one can refuse once bitten next. Return to a galaxy far, far away. Return for the greatest adventure of all time. Return of the Jedi. The Star Wars saga lives on with old friends. Rebels fighting to restore freedom to the galaxy. New enemies and new allies. May the Force be with us. Aliens from a thousand worlds. And the dark side concealing a darker secret. Is Darth Vader my father? If you will not fight, then you will meet your destiny. A destiny to be fulfilled? Soon the rebellion will be crushed and young Skywalker will be one of us. No! Or refuse. Return for the climactic clash between good and evil. Return of the Jedi. Saturday on HBO. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful maiden who was forced to keep watch over her baby brother. Until one night she made a wish. I wish. She's going to say the word. And sometimes, you know, wishes do come true. Goblin King! Goblin King! Wherever you may be, take this child of mine far away from me! And thus began her adventure. Everything I've done, I've done for you. Toby! Turn back before it's too late. David Bowie in a Jim Henson film where nothing is as it seems. The world of labyrinth. It's further than you think. Or is it? Out of the darkness, a dream is born. director of last year's hit film, Stand By Me, read William Golden's story, The Princess Bride, he knew it would make a great movie. An idea two-time Oscar winner Goldman had been pursuing for over 13 years. It has almost been made any number of times. And I've had studio executives who wanted to make it get fired. I had a studio that wanted to make it close. Uh, I've had directors get sick, all kinds of things. Well, fortunately for me, uh, my vision is very close to Bill's. I mean, I don't think Bill would have allowed me to do it unless we were very much in sync with how this film should have been made. I mean, he was very careful about this because it's his baby. I mean, it's his, his favorite thing that he's ever written. And he auditioned me, basically. 111, 8, 8, 14. Ready? And action. A month from now, I shall marry a lady who was once a commoner like yourself. Would you like to meet her? Yes! The Princess Buttercup. 
This project was an enormous challenge for me from a, a production and technical standpoint. I've never done anything on, on this scale uh, with these kinds of uh, production problems. Cut. Good. Just do one more. The Princess Bride is a comic tale of true love and high adventure which takes place in a very imaginary medieval land. Reiner and producer Andrew Scheinman tackled this challenging project by putting together a production team capable of creating a fantastic yet frighteningly believable world. The first to join Reiner's team was production designer Norman Garwood, who was nominated for an Oscar for his work on Brazil. At Lee Shepperton Studios and the surrounding English countryside, he created the Kingdom of Florin. As a designer, it was uh, a great treat because it was uh, everything you'd want, really. This uh, fire swamps and pirate boats and awful hovels and, and sort of uh, pits of despair, torture chambers. So, I mean, it was everything there you can actually self indulge yourself. One, two, four, five, six. Good. Hello, when it came to the sword fighting sequences, Reiner couldn't rely on special effects. Mandy Patinkin and Carrie Elwes spent months preparing for a sword fighting scene during which they would fence with both left and right hands. Reiner made sure they were trained by a top fencing master. The initial sword fight was the thing that impressed me because uh, it was described uh, as the greatest sword fight since Errol Flynn and Burt Lancaster. Well, I'm fortunate. I've worked with both of these people. Who are you? No one of consequence. I must get used to disappointment. Okay. So I was able to uh, think of how Flynn used to work and how Lancaster worked and uh, hopefully combine some of their uh, sort of skills in this particular sword fight. Reiner's film is populated by more than the standard dashing swashbucklers and beautiful maidens. One of the most unique characters is the 90-year-old Miracle Max. What? Reiner cast Billy Crystal as Max because he knew that Crystal and makeup artist Peter Montagna had used prosthetic makeup to create a diverse group of humorous characters on Saturday Night Live. This is my hand. It's also convenient because it's a map of London. This is Park Lane. This whole area here is Hyde Park. We're staying somewhere in here and then come to the studio all the way up this way. Staying, make sure you stay on the right side. We come back down this way. And the studio is somewhere in my elbow. Liar! Liar! Get back, witch! I'm not a witch, I'm your wife! Carol Kane, who portrays Max's wife, Valerie, also had to undergo an elaborate makeup session. The startling transformation from Billy and Carol to Max and Valerie took over four hours to complete. Why'd you say that? This nose, thank heavens, is not my nose. This forehead is not my forehead. These eyes are not my eyes. I mean, these eyes have lenses on them, and this hair is not my hair. Although, it's very similar to my hair in texture, but it's not. So, none of this is me. This is what I'm stuck with at the end of the day. Know what I mean? Once you get those wrinkles in that neck, you know, you, you find that you retain water, <laughs> and your ankles swell, and your kids don't write to you. You know, do the, the line down about the... Uh, takes 15 minutes for full potency, and then you should be up and going. By taking such special care in assembling this dedicated cast and crew, and then giving them the opportunity to contribute as much as they could, Reiner was free to do what he does best. Oh, I try to keep things simple. I always do. I mean, I don't know, good, bad, or indifferent. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not as technically proficient as guys like Spielberg and Lucas and these guys who can really you know, put on a flashy show. I mean, I'm not, I'm not good at it, and so if I tried to, I probably wouldn't uh, be able to pull it off anyway. And now, with news of what's to come on HBO, here's HBO Inside Info. HBO Comedy Hour Live, Joe Piscopo's Halloween Party, is set to air in October and promises to be a real college campus treat. Or is that a trick? That's me, Joe Piscopo, live Halloween night on HBO. <laughs> Upcoming Comedy Hour comedians include George Carlin, Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, Martin Short, Robin Williams, and more. In November, HBO will celebrate its 15th anniversary with a completely original weekend, showcasing movies and specials made especially for HBO. The centerpiece of the celebration, Comic Relief 87 Live. Meanwhile, HBO on location is cooking up a December comedy special with comedian Paul Reiser out on a whim.
Well, Hollywood has the Academy Awards, Broadway has the Tonys, and Cable TV has the Ace Awards. And now, for the first time ever, HBO will present the ninth annual Ace Awards live in January. As for HBO Pictures, Shooting is now complete on Baja, Oklahoma, which will debut on HBO early next year. Leslie Ann Warren and Peter Coyote star in this rowdy romance about a Texas barmaid who dreams of musical stardom. HBO Sports is now at work on the production of Boxing's Greatest Knockouts. Mike Tyson and Larry Merchant are set to host this December sports special, featuring the greatest knockouts in history, from the most controversial to the humorous. Two new family specials are on the HBO horizon. Lyle Lyle Crocodile, an animated musical based on the popular children's book The House on East 88th Street, debuts in November. And live from Planet Earth, a variety show of a very different kind was just taped before an audience of 100 kids for air in December. Movies to watch for the months ahead, Heartbreak Ridge with Clint Eastwood, and The Morning After with Jane Fonda and Jeff Bridges. Till next time, this is HBO Inside Info. America's favorite wits come together at the Gerald R. Ford Museum. My favorite Ronald Reagan joke is George Bush. They're here to answer the burning question. Go right ahead and shoot. Uh. <laughs> What's so funny about being president? Chevy Chase, Robert Clyde, Mark Russell, Mort Saul, Art Buckwall, Pat Paulson, and Tip O'Neill join the former first family for an evening of humor and the presidency. Tomorrow on HBO. See this face? It belongs to the man who can do this, and this, and this. It's the man himself, Bill Cosby, bringing you keen insights. Beer drinkers are really different people because they, something happens to their hearing. They go almost, they have everything. Yes, Bill Cosby, the man who prepares you for parenthood. My wife turns around, grabs a yardstick. She holds it like a samurai warrior. She then makes an announcement that the beatings will now begin. He also prepares you for your next trip to the dentist. Now he starts to drill. And you see and smell smoke. It's Bill Cosby himself. And remember, which means Sunday on HBO. Take time out to recap the first half of this year's new season on First and Ten Going for Broke. Have a good time doing it. Remembering the league's leading ladies. How come men are so stupid? Recalling football's first black general manager. Me? General manager? I don't believe it. And replaying the battles of the gridiron gladiators who won it all. My town ain't do! Did this hot-headed quarterback, these cool collective linemen... Get out of my or this lukewarm Latvian kicker. He's good. A little commie, he's a walking endorsement. He's not good. Play their hearts out every game. Don't be ridiculous. Or play harder after the game. <laughs> what would Floyd say? Oh, he say go for it. Nobody can be sure. Nobody! Unless they've seen the action. <laughs> you are the best. The absolute best! Catch an instant replay double dose of First and Ten going for broke. Thursday nights at midnight on HBO.